what's in your pocket? It's like, what's in your wallet? Uh, these are Lamy pens. I always try to carry two of them. Uh, what is the easiest to start developing on Cardano? I'm a senior in computer science, and I will be applying to graduate school in the fall. Well, I don't know what your emphasis in computer science was, but I'll assume you had a standard American computer science education. So you took a course in algorithms, you took a course in programming languages, you know a little bit about databases and networks, you did all the standard CS courses, you did some discrete math, you probably did calculus and these things. And so you got a bright enough head that you're capable of handling some level of rigor. You're probably a pretty proficient developer in a standard language like Java or C++ or C Sharp. Uh, depending upon your curriculum, you probably know a little bit about web applications and JavaScript and, you know, that got prepared to learn about full stack development. And you probably learned a little bit about QA and, you know, these other things. Uh, so if you have a standard imperative uh, CS education, meaning you learned object-oriented programming and you learned about imperative languages like Java, uh, then probably your best bet is to start with Ethereum and their stack learn a little bit about that. So Mastering Ethereum is a good book. It was co-authored by Gavin Wood and Andreas Antonopoulos. Uh, and there's lots of great guides and tutorials and it gets your head into the whole DAP mindset and learn about how to do the on-chain and off-chain stuff. And there's great tutorials there. Then take all of those skills and instead of deploying to the Ethereum testnet, deploy to the Cardano Ethereum devnet uh, and actually build there. Now, if you're really keen to start working with Plutus, the best thing you can do, and it's going to take you probably two to three months to get through it, depending upon your schedule, is read the Haskell book. Uh, it, just go to thehaskellbook.com. It's like 40, 50 bucks. It's over a thousand pages long, and it's an incredibly comprehensive introduction to Haskell. Uh, and as a consequence of that, you'll be well suited for Plutus. After the Merry Hard Fork, we're all hands on deck focused on the Plutus testnet that will be the thing we use to get to the Plutus mainnet, uh, and that's going to move very quickly, and we're going to be acid testing it. Uh, I'm trying very hard to get good pedagogy for Plutus out. Uh, there's certainly a lot of stuff we're writing for native assets, multi-asset, and that's closely related to the whole Plutus development experience. So if you're complete neophyte to smart contracts, start with Ethereum and then test that on our stack. It's just better, faster, cheaper. If you actually know a little bit about that model and, or, or you've had... Uh, pre-existing training and functional programming, and you feel pretty confident with Haskell, then there are some Udemy classes that we created for Plutus, but we don't quite have that development experience up yet. It's not coming too long from now. It's imminent. It's like it's within 45 days. That's pretty reasonable. Uh, but that pedagogy is not where it needs to be. It's a big focus of ours, late Q1 and all throughout Q2 to get that pedagogy where it needs to be. And what I'd like is to be able to just have a turnkey solution, say, go do this, go go read this book, and then you're good to go. Uh, but um, at the moment, you can write apps in Glow, you can write apps in Yella, you can write apps in Ethereum, and of course, at some point, you'll be able to write Marlowe and Plutus. Probably start with Ethereum first because it's the broadest reference set. I think there are over 3,400 dApps that they're floating around that you can analyze it's so good to get some inspiration about what people are doing, why they're doing it, where they're going with it. 